Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to, well, it was like a little fuzzy thing. <laughs> Welcome back to How to Quit Dip 101 with Ya yeah Boy. <laughs> um, as most of you know, if you didn't watch the last video, I have been tobacco free for just about two years. In, in about a month, it'll be two years. So I can say I got some experience on how to quit in my ways. Everybody's different, but who knows, maybe my advice will help you out. So as you can tell by the title of this video, it says intro, episode one, intro, whatever it is. The introduction is, I'm gonna run you guys through, or this whole episode, I'm gonna run you through um, like why I started dip, when I started, how long it's been, um, when I would put dips in, when I would dip, um, how many times I try, and so on. So, let's get started. Now, obviously these videos are pretty much raw, so there's not gonna be much editing going on, but hey, who knows, who knows? All right, so, when I started dip. I started to dip and I just got my license. So I was 16, so soft, about the end of sophomore year of high school. Um, that's when I began dip. I took one of my buddies home and he had some uh, Copenhagen snuff, whatever it was, and I took that and I didn't care for that taste, but it got me wanting more and more and more. So I started around when I was 16 years old and I am 20, I'm gonna be 25 this year and I quit two years ago, 22. So I, I dipped for about seven, about seven years. So obviously I you know I've been a tobacco user <laughs> um, why I started I started because well I don't know I just it I don't I didn't like cigarettes I thought cigarettes just smell like ass and cigars I'll still have a cigar every now and again like for New Year's even though I didn't have any this New Year's eh, fuck it but normally once a year I'll have a cigar but anyways I didn't like the smell of cigarettes so I chose tobacco and it was easier to hide in school you could like put it back here and you can go in class and have a dip so that's why I did that's why I started tobacco dip instead of cigarettes but whatever but so anyways as time went on I tried to quit just because it was either getting expensive or um, whatever the cause may be I tried to quit probably around six or seven times, and they were all cold turkey. I never could just slow down. It was um, either quit or keep going. That's how I was. I couldn't. I couldn't slow down. And uh, but so I about I tried about seven or eight times, roughly around there, six or seven, eight times, whatever it was, and uh, failed every time except this last time. I'm winning. Fuck yes. Um, so anyways, when I would dip. Yeah, I got a little cheat sheet here, that way I don't lose track and hopefully I get all the pinpoints to make this series as legit as possible. Try to help you guys out, help somebody out, hopefully, hopefully. Um, so when I would put a dip in, the times I would dip would be right in the morning, right as I woke up. I'd brush my teeth, put a dip in. And and then uh, my next time would be at, after lunch right after I got done eating and then you know and then a couple throughout the day and I was doing about a can well when I when I was about the year I quit I was doing about two logs a week so about two cans a day roughly huh <laughs> two can <laughs> so um I would put a dip in yeah right in the morning right when I woke up right after lunch after I ate after any type of snack meal whatnot um, at nighttime, right as I'm laying down, watching YouTube videos or watching Netflix, whatever it may be. So I dipped quite a bit, probably about eight, eight times a day. I put a dip in, and they're fat ones too. They're like you know, big ass ones. So, um, so last thing I'm gonna cover is what made me quit. What made me quit dip? Um, well, there was many things. One was it was getting expensive. Doing two logs a week, that's like. I think it was like 20 bucks a log, so it was about 40 bucks a week. So I was spending, well, you could do the math. I was spending a lot of money, and for what I was making, that's a lot of money. I couldn't afford it. I couldn't really afford it. So um, that's one reason that made me quit. Second, um, 
I just, I was getting tired of the taste. I didn't want to try anything else. Um, it just, I don't know, I just got kind of bored of it. You know, if you do something so long, you get kind of bored of it. Um, it happened to me a little bit so uh, quicker than most people. So I'm kind of glad about that. Um, third thing, I almost flipped you guys off, but third thing. <laughs> third thing was uh, my gums were starting to hurt down here. And I started to get um, a pouch. What did they call it? A dip. Um, called a dip pouch or something like that. Where your gums get like carved out where you dip in that same spot for so long it starts getting cut out and then it actually started um, uh, creating a hole a little tiny peephole in my gums and it was really starting to hurt like it would feel like like you put this right here it looks like you put like whoa this sharp ass part like inside your gum and it was just jabbing you the whole fucking time uh, no matter if, if you had a dip in or not so I tried going up to up top, dipping up top, and it just, that's just stupid. <laughs> don't ever do that. If you're dipping, don't ever do that. Uh, but you should be quitting. If you're dipping, you should be quitting. <laughs> so that started kind of making me um, concerned about my health and shit. And my teeth never really got yellow or nothing like that, so that didn't really bother me. But it was that, that little hole that kind of freaked me out. And um, I, I said, fuck it. So I put down the can, and here I am today, about, what, 365 times 2, what is it, 730 days sober of dip? That doesn't sound like a lot, but two years sounds better, <laughs> I guess, maybe. Two years or 730 days? Hmm, I think two years. I think two years. So, hopefully you guys did enjoy that's the introduction, if, if, that, if you will, if that's what you want to call it. That's what I'm going to call it because I said, <laughs> and um, again, if you're willing to quit, stay tuned for the next episode, because that is going to be step one, and the title is going to be Pick a Date, so I'm not going to say much more, it's ready to go, well, it's not actually ready to go, I haven't made it yet, but I have it written down on paper, so hopefully, I really hope somebody watches one of these videos and I help somebody out this year. That's my goal. Help one person out. If not more, I will be more than happy. And um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, please leave a like rating uh, down below. Let's um, let's go for like 475,000 likes. I'm just kidding. Can never get that. That'd be pretty badass. But um, uh, also, my Instagram link is in the description. Go check it out. Go check me out on Instagram. You can follow. I do a lot of fun shit and post a lot of cool pictures. And At least I think they're pretty cool pictures. <laughs> and um, let's get this series on the road. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you did, please hit the like button down below. And as always, take care. Stay tuned. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>